Hi everyone, it is Sri Devi. In this video, we are going to learn about high pattern analysis for finding inter symbol interference. On completion of this model, the learners can able to identify, uh, they can able to understand high pattern analysis for inter simple interference. I pattern is used to study the effect of inter simple interference in baseband digital transmission. The, the quality of digital transmission systems are evaluated using bit error rate. The degradation of quality occurs in each process modulation, transmission and detection. This pattern is used to study uh, the ISI when the sequences are transmitted over a baseband binary data transmission the signal obtained uh, in the output side let the signal in the input is x of t and output is y of t the i pattern is the experimental method that contains all information concerning the degradation quantity therefore the careful analysis of i pattern is important in analyzing the degradation mechanism so this pattern can be observed using an uh, model which is used to identify the inter simple interference. Ideally, the signal uh, should go high and low depending upon the uh, symbol that was transmitted. But because of the nature of transmission, uh, transmission channel, the signal becomes continuous with increasing and decreasing amplitudes. So, the binary sequence that is transmitted. Uh, that is x of t and received as y of t at the output side. The received waveform is applied to the vertical deflection uh, plate of an oscilloscope and saw tooth waveform at the rate equal to the transmitted symbol rate. So the I pattern also referred as the I diagram and it is produced by the synchronized superposition successive symbol intervals. The resulting display is called as eye pattern because of its uh, resemblance to the human eye it is same as that of the human eye uh, so the uh, sampling instance c1 t2 c t3 etc it is sampled and tb is the bit time that is the sampling time between two successive bits the decision is taken by the decision device that is if we cut the signal y of t uh, at each interval tb the place it is over one another then we can obtain the diagram which is same as that of i pattern that is why it is uh, uh, known as i pattern analysis the interior region of i pattern is called as i opening so the i opening is uh, like this uh, for the data the uh, zeros and ones it is uh, opening and closing uh, can be represented the i opening is like this so simply the eye pattern can be drawn uh, like that is the interpretation of eye pattern. The various important conclusions can be derived from this eye pattern. That is the width of eye uh, opening defines the interval over which the received waveform can be sampled without error. That is uh, from the inter symbol interference. It is preferable to sample the instant at which the eye is open widest. In this diagram, the sensitivity of the system to timing error is determined by the rate of closure of the eye as the sampling time is varied. The height of eye opening at the specified sampling time is called as margin over noise. As the effect of inter symbol interference increases, the eye open reduces. If the eye is closed completely, then it is not possible to avoid the errors at the output. The width of the eye opening defines the time interval over which the received waveform can be sampled without error. All about the successive uh, description for this two levels binary system if uh, there are m levels and that is called as mra system. The height of eye opening at a specified sampling time is the measure of margin over the channel noise. So the sensitivity of the, uh, sensitivity of the system uh, to have the timing error is determined by the rate of closure of the eye. So any nonlinear transmission distortion uh, would reveal uh, itself in an asymmetric or uh, squint eye when the affected uh, uh, ISI is excessive traces from the upper portion of the eye, eye pattern. Uh, so we can conclude here 
the eye pattern analysis uh, or eye pattern is used uh, to study the effect of intersymbol uh, interference in baseband transmission here we have one quiz question based upon uh, eye pattern for intersymbol interference analysis that is question here is eye pattern is choice number 1 it is used to study isi may be seen in zero resembles the shape of human eye and all of the above this a b c all are correct in case of eye pattern so it's used to study isi it's correct and it can be viewed uh, in zero that is also correct and it resembles the shape of the human eye so answer is d all of the above thank you